Happy Halloween, everyone! Did you know that there was 1,917 DS games released in North America, and only 11 of those games bear the mark of an M rating? And we're gonna take a look at one today on the final episode of Nerdtober, so stay tuned. You're watching the Nerd Layers Nerdtober. <laughs> On October 26, 2007, a company called Renegade Kid pitched an idea for a Silent Hill game on the Nintendo DS to Konami, and naturally, since Konami hates their fans and doesn't want them to be happy, they rejected the idea. Renegade said fuck it, and they just made it into its own thing, called Dementium the Ward. Dementium and its sequel are very special games because they are 2 out of 11 games that bear the mark of an M rating on the Nintendo DS, which, if you know anything about Nintendo, they're not very fond of that M rating, so when two games that have the M rating come to the DS, you gotta check them out. And we're gonna take a look at the first Dementium game, so let's enter the hospital with Dementium the Ward. You play as a man named William Redmore who wakes up in a hospital with no memory of how or why he got there. There are vague hints to suggest that you may have murdered your wife and that you have a daughter who is still alive, but not much more really comes into focus until later in the game. I would say for the time that this game came out, the mystery behind the plot is done fairly well, with more being uncovered as you progress in the game. It has to deal with some nightmare scenario involving an insane surgeon, and even then, the plot is still pretty vague and shallow, which doesn't really help you care about William. Dementium is a survival horror first-person shooter which at first seems like a horrible idea for a DS game given the lack of a joystick and having to use the D-pad to move with the stylus to rotate the camera to look around, but it actually works great. Mind you, you'll have to perform the old crab claw grip while playing, and if you're an adult your hands are going to cramp up really fast. The gameplay consists of you navigating through different wards in the hospital via maps that you'll find throughout each area, solving puzzles that take advantage of the DS's touchscreen which I really like if I'm being honest, and of course, whacking and shooting nightmarish abominations that dwell within each level. The cover for this game has an interesting little quote from Hardcore Gamer magazine, which I don't remember at all, but it reads, This is Doom 3 meets Silent Hill. Be afraid. Now, I don't know about you, but I find that very funny because Doom 3 is fucking terrible, and it's the worst one in the franchise, in my opinion, because it's a cheap jump scare horror game where you have to constantly switch back and forth from your weapon to your flashlight. And guess what? Dementium took that horrible game mechanic that everyone hated and plopped it into their game. To be fair, it's not as annoying in this game, but I definitely could have lived without it. Most of the enemies in this game look like they would fit seamlessly in any Silent Hill game, which makes sense because this game was originally supposed to be just that. You'll get a few different items throughout the game, starting with a security guard's nightstick, a pistol and a shotgun, and a fucking bone saw. This game does hold your hand quite a bit, and I rarely found myself hurting for more ammo or even getting lost within the level because it's very linear. I think my favorite aspect of this game is the puzzles because it brought me back to an era in video games that no longer exists. The era where you had to take notes. I miss that. One of the very first items you find in this game is a notepad where you can write down things that you can refer back to whenever you come to a puzzle that needs to be solved, like a combination for a locked safe, a keypad on a locked door, or remembering the correct keys to play a piano. I love that shit. And using the bottom touchscreen and the stylus to write down these notes in the notepad is just a level of immersion that I really like. For 2007 on the frickin' DS, the graphics are really impressive. I've always been someone who never cared about graphics in a video game because to me, good graphics don't equal a good game. But I have to applaud Renegade Kid for this one because it's still impressive to see graphics like this on the original DS. Also, a little side note, the frame rate for this game is silky smooth, and it's very pleasing to the eye. Eh. One of the most important aspects of a video game, for me at least, is the atmosphere, whether it be fantasy, sci-fi, or horror, because it invokes feelings that keep me grounded in that world I'm playing in, which in turn bring me to a level of immersion that is just fucking awesome. Unfortunately, Dementium's atmosphere, in my opinion, is more or less insipid. 
90% of the levels in this game look exactly the same. Blood on the walls and blood on the floor and you're walking down some hospital hallway. I think if this game did have the Silent Hill name attached to it, I wouldn't like it as much because it's not as good as I would want a Silent Hill game to be, but since it doesn't and it's its own thing, I kind of respect it more for that. I'm not going to spoil the ending of this game, even though on the surface it seems really simplistic, it's actually quite cerebral and a pleasant surprise compared to the rest of the game. I gotta tip my beanie to Renegade Kid for actually having a decent payoff to a game that ultimately has little to no plot or character development. Now you might think that I dislike this game because I probably had more negatives to say than positives, but you'd be wrong. You have to keep in mind that this game came out in 2007. You can tell Renegade Kid really tried to make something special and you have to give them credit for taking risks with a game for a console that is known for playing it safe. I kind of recommend playing this game if you are really that curious and want to see, I guess, a, a good first person shooter on the Nintendo DS. I'm still trying to get my hands on the sequel, which is just titled Dementium 2, but it's really expensive and really rare. It's fun to see an M rated game on something like the Nintendo DS because it's just not very common. Like I said, there's only 11 M rated games in the entire North American DS library. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that little tiny thumbs up button down below because it lets me know that you liked the video. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm a YouTuber and I'm obligated to tell you how to think. I would also like to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to get a shout out like these guys got, become a patron. The link is down below in the description. All right, I'm done rambling. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I hope you all have a fantastic, spooky, safe Halloween night, and I will see you in the Nerd Lair in November. Bye.